Era MB. Kakati tutadeo zine namba. Uh, Gwebo wango ya gara kuyamba ko okuza ok, ok, wadu wafe wano kubutaka. Oso wolo hiti na noteka yo contribution yo. Netulaba na tuwa leta avanta ho. Tuja kwa na usinga. Eno kape negena kura ninga for one week. Lelo wakuna negena kutambula mpaka kuro kuna next week. Uh, Sende zutunaba tufunye muka, mfundraise eno. Tuja ziba gulira. Ila avanta wafe baso wole okoma ho uh, wano Uganda. Ila nchoke denti president wafe ya tade yuko milio ni kumi ngeto fare ni soka kusonge no yuko meao abandu wafe. Um, nechi lala, siku wanda inama ja wakula na ye, kawe mumanyi, waya kola mu. Um, Ichisembe na dala ngangena muita, bana yunga bade nchoke la kusonga ya abama amaba no. Uh, juzi tuwade kukoti ya maje Nga Nidanga nevi uobe Wabuli wakoti Simanyi Nache marida na watu Wabuli ya watu ya wabana wabachara wano Nga waka haba kuluwa wana wabwe Nibasivye katiba mazeyo Ibanga Elikenda kwenye ya meake elidi Nga na wachi bachi manjibulu njinyo Tiba na wana tiba ina musango Amu haba kwa ata Loko ambala bere tingendo jenyambati Avalala Ntiba hiba wakida nyo people power Katingoyo ashe ya fukari uh, kalanzi Yari afuga boda boda, nga wakila president wa fene NUP, nima mkwata. Kakati, botu nulila evike na maso, nula wa banawana wate mbogila wano wa motivu, mchala, nalubowa, mwala, nabalala, bebatu lukunyiza, nui mkanda wa Yusuf. Atewa no, batono nyo kwabo, bebakezi wa wamba, bitutamanyi na wajibari. Mchimanyi bulunji, nti recently, walo wa wana wa fene, banji nyo wazi nga wakwata, up to now, but to Jebali. Katiba vayo watia, it's so good to see what celebrating our independence. Also, a lot of vayo. Nemugera ni mweku vya busele fino fana nyo wakavi. Nti muliku independence. Muliku kujiko vya independence. So nga muku hata abantu. Hata ina musango. Nimbatu lugunya. Nime vale vade no musango. Ama teka gala gila. Nimutuale mkoti. Musawa na mumunana. Na yuko no kwa ato mtu. No mtu ala no mubu zao. Miezi ne miezi. Natu mtu te mkoti. Atene mbata niko bakuwa, no babu zevi uzevyo. Chana kunyonti uli oma agenda yo chewa soko mubu uza, bobi wae na kusasula sete mika, okuwa kanya government. Kubanga wawo wa sasula, kubanga wawo wa sasula, wae no kusasula uli omu, ila mula vye omana, ongavayo, ababoda, boda, ngavalu wana, kabaka ababa kozi sajuzi, webali, maisamu, wa celebratinga. Wana wabude, nevalu wana, nevaka amba sete zafe, ziri wa mutuko sezate, mutu wade sete zafe. Kakati kubanga wawo wata ambulida mumbele yo kusasula avantu, Balo oza tinafe, tusa surabantu. Ito soka sende kutina. Na hende watu walibade na zo. Bana Uganda wa manye chokola, bana Uganda wali mugulumi, bana Uganda wali nesonga zivaluma, ileze songa zeva imidilako, okuwala na. No kolo kota. Government ya mamimu seveni, mpaka wena vaho. So tell him, NUP mutukwe sasura, okuchawa government. Ya wanduwa chawa government, oruwebe vikolo vero, vikola. Mwizikirize, na nilize president wafe, ayubiriko jimwane. People power. Power, power. Our power. People power. People power. Our power. People power. Our power. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Lewis. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, it is not a very, very good afternoon with what we see going on in our country, with what we see happening to our people. But nevertheless, we say good afternoon. Um, I want to address two, maybe three matters this afternoon. First, to add my voice on condemning the rampant abductions and enforced disappearances. You all notice, ladies and gentlemen, that there's a new wave of abductions and enforced disappearances. Many of us have read about the times of Pandagali, the times of Idi Amin, but even what we read is not as bad as what we see today. It's very unfortunate that it's happening, but it's even more unfortunate that we see a very loud silence from leaders, from political leaders, from religious leaders, from cultural leaders. 
To you, dear our religious leaders, we believe that God is stronger than any dictator, stronger than Nebuchadnezzar, stronger than Idi Amin, and certainly stronger than Museveni. We get disturbed why there's so much silence coming from our religious leaders. We grew up being taught about the Uganda matters, 45 of them, 20, 22 from my own Catholic church and 23 from the Anglican church. Those were people that died because they stood for what is right. They stood for truth and for justice. They stood for their right to worship. Just their right to worship. Up to today, we remember them. These people are standing for their right to be human. They are abducted. They are tortured. Many are raped. Others never show back. But we've not had enough from the religious leaders. Most times when religious leaders talk to us, they only encourage us to be calm, to be peaceful. But you cannot be at peace when you don't have your rights, when you're not free. So dear religious leaders, we want to hear more of your voices. To the cultural leaders, we have many cultural leaders in Uganda. I'll talk mainly about where I come from. There has not been a horror here in Uganda, in the history of Uganda, in the history of Uganda. There has never been any horror like the one happening today. Where our children are abducted, you see their mothers crying, demanding for them. There has never been such a horror. And we think that our leaders, who are supposed to be our representatives, we think this is supposed to be on your lips. If you cannot get them for us, at least talk about them. Let us know that we are represented by our leaders. Of course, I'll talk about the silence from the media. Unlike the politicians, it's either silence or diversion. For the politicians, all we hear them talk about on TV and radio, so radio interviews are matters that, 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 that are not as important as this. Same thing with you, media guys. On TVs today, you're going to hear about who, who, who was caught with whose girlfriend, where the party is at, who is dating who. You're not going to talk about these issues. But you are also not safe. Recently, your fellow journalist, Remy Bahati, who exposed the regime and, you know, um, interviewed Kakwenza on her Twitter space because the regime could not get her, their, their hand on her. They, they abducted her family. So friends, while you are silent on very important matters, matters that touch you indirectly, it will soon come to you. So please speak up and be the real reflection of the issues that are happening in society, dear media people. Machete's mother mentioned it, and all other mothers mentioned it, that these people are being abducted, tortured, or even killed, simply because they supported me. I am here. I have challenged Museveni. I challenge him again. Why don't you arrest me if you think I am leading criminals? Other than torturing these people, why don't you torture me? Why don't you arrest me? <laughs> Mike Chief. <laughs> um, Comrade Nubian has briefed you about what happened with our Dubai tour. I will emphasize that because we have a gift given freely to us by God and groomed and raised and promoted by the common people, we thought this was our opportunity to give back to our brothers and sisters. So a concert was organized in Dubai. He has briefed you that many of our brothers and sisters are stuck in the Arab world. In the UAE alone, there are 21 detention centers. We visited only one, and it had 600 girls, 200 from Uganda, and the rest from the rest of Africa. We wanted to achieve two things. One, wanted to create awareness because you, the media, are not talking about these girls as much as you're supposed